we broke down for you the uh, Dr. Oz crudite Wed Wegner's, is that what Wegner's, yes. <laughs> Wegner's grocery store visit, which I have to tell you, like, I literally cannot get enough of breakdowns of mm -hmm. that video and all of the various yeah, pieces no of it. No cart, crudite. Yeah, putting the Why vegetables you in your maids? arms like a maniac, buying one little crown of right. broccoli. Anyway, um, so this clip was so bizarre and so comically not relatable that even Newsmax confronted Dr. Oz about what the hell he was thinking. Let's take a listen. Is Dr. Oz relatable to the everyday, hardworking American there in Pennsylvania? Listen, I rolled my sleeves up my whole life. I've taken care of patients, saved lives, invented devices. Uh, I've started foundations where we take care of tens of thousands of teens around the country, trying to help where, wherever I can. That's what my life's been about. You know, but I joke about a crudite, which is a way of speaking about how ridiculous it is that you can't even put vegetables on a plate. Uh, in the middle of a campaign, we'll do what, whatever we need to do to make sure the people of Pennsylvania respect what we're about and that we're going to work as hard as we can to fix their problems. And I mean to fixate on it, but I, I just for those watching in Pennsylvania, you know how particular many people are about their groceries. What happened with Wegmans and Wegners? Can you explain that to them? Yeah, I was exhausted <laughs> when you're campaigning 18 hours a day. You've, listen, I've gotten my kids' names wrong as well. I don't think that's uh, a measure of someone's ability to lead the Commonwealth. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> So bad. I'm I mean, so the bad. thing. The, there's yeah. a couple of things that are funny too. Um, this clip of him at the grocery store was actually from April. Really? Yeah, oh, and wow. it just got like resurfaced, I guess, by the Fetterman team. They found it and were like, oh my God, this is gold. Got to put this out. So this is, um, yeah, this this has been sitting out there for a while for the taking. And then I love, I mean, his dodge on crudite is like, I'm joking about crudite because it's hard to put vegetables on a plate. No, you're not, dude. No, you're yeah, not. Yeah, you're just not. If yeah. you, listen, you're a rich dude, you're yeah. a TV star. Right. Be who you are and lean into that. But trying to do my whole, like, I'm so relatable. Here I am at the grocery store, and oh my goodness, the price of vegetables. This is shocking. As if it means anything right. to you whatsoever. He also got caught. Dude has 10 houses, okay? And he got asked on the campaign trail, mm -hmm. like, how many houses do you have? And he's like, two. I only own two. I only own two. No, you own 10. He gets called out on it, and then he's like, well, I have two homes and 10 properties. Right, he's like, I have eight properties, which is just like, oh my God. Just say, Stop. I've done very well Stop. in my life. Now I want to do well for the people of Pennsylvania. How hard is that? Much better. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> they're also, they're trying to go in on this, like, um, Fetterman, like, mooched off his parents till he's 50 right. years old or whatever, which I also think is sort of like... If you're trying to say, Fetterman's whole thing is like, I've struggled and I'm the everyman. So the fact that you like, you know, were struggling for a part of your life, I don't think undercuts him whatsoever. The campaign is terribly run. His staffers clearly despise and hate him, oh, given the fact yeah. that they were willing to put this video out. And, you know, I, he seems to not have any idea of how to turn it around whatsoever. So it's pretty interesting. What a disaster. Total disaster. <laughs> even Newsmax coming yeah, for Yeah, even Cox. Newsmax knocking him out. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.